Nicoli, Senior Associate Editor for CNET.com, and this is a first look at the Motorola Droid Bionic. It's been nine long months and we finally have it in our hands. You may remember the Droid Bionic from our CES 2011 coverage. However, this Droid Bionic is a little bit different than the one that we showed. In fact, it's a little bit sleeker, a little bit sexier, and definitely a lot thinner. In fact, Verizon says that the Motorola Droid Bionic is its thinnest LTE phone. It's also the very first dual-core phone to support 4G LTE on Verizon. It ships with Android 2.3.4, which is the latest update for Gingerbread at this time, and it is free of the usual Moto Blur interface. It has up to five customizable home screens, and the menu is a little bit different as well. The 4.3-inch display on the Droid Bionic makes this phone a little bit big, but the screen is amazing. The QHD display really pops with color. On the back here is an 8-megapixel camera lens with an LED flash. It's also the first 4G LTE phone to shoot full 1080p HD video. Since the Droid Bionic has both a 1 GHz dual-core processor and 4G LTE speeds, the overall phone experience is very fast. Navigating through the phone is very zippy. Multitasking was not a problem at all. The browser was also quite impressive. It supports HTML5 content as well as Adobe Flash Video. In fact, we were able to load a Flash Video pretty quickly. The Droid Bionic has very strong multimedia features. Not only does it have the 8 megapixel camera and camcorder like we said, it also has a front-facing camera for video calls. Aside from multimedia features, the Droid Bionic also has very good business features. It has strong device and data encryption. You can also remotely wipe the device as well as the SD card. The Droid Bionic comes with an app called ZumoCast that lets you easily share and transfer files from a PC application. You can do this over 4G LTE and 3G, not just Wi-Fi. Like with the Atrix, you can dock the Droid Bionic into this laptop dock accessory and use it as a portable PC. Other accessories include an HD station, which requires an external monitor. You can also plug it in into a little tiny webtop adapter that you can attach to an external monitor as well. The webtop applications definitely extend the functionality of this phone. The webtop app allows you to access different apps like Firefox and Facebook, as well as a variety of office apps like Citrix GoToMeeting and Citrix Documents. And of course, the Droid Bionic has all of the usual Android features like Gmail, Google Talk, and more. The Droid Bionic ships with the aforementioned 1 GHz dual core processor. It also has 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. It also ships with a 16 GB SD card. However, it is expandable up to 32 gigabytes. On the whole, the Droid Bionic is a slim, slick, powerful, and fast device. The webtop application lets you use all of these different accessories. However, it's around $300 with a new two-year service agreement with the Verizon Wireless. The laptop dock is around $300 as well. The HD station dock, $100. The webtop adapter is around $30. So is it worth the wait? We think so. But is it worth the price? We have our doubts. I'm Nicole Lee, and this has been the first look at the Motorola Droid Bionic. <laughs>